In this video, we're going to be looking at a couple of zero DTE trading strategies and how we use gamma exposure to increase the probabilities of success. The first strategy that we're going to be looking at is a zero DTE iron condor. And I think one of the best ways to illustrate this concept is to show you a real live trading example. This was the gamma exposure picture back on October 31st at 9.50 a.m. Eastern on the S&P 500. We've got our gamma exposure filtered for only the zero DTE contracts. So these are the option contracts that were expiring on October 31st. You can see most of the concentration is around the 6850 level with some positive gamma exposure up at the 6900 level. And at 1036 a.m. that morning, we posted that we were selling 10 iron condors for $2.10, focusing on price staying between 68.25 and 68.80. And you can see the setup at the time, just as we had been discussing, showed that the zero DTE gamma exposure was all concentrated at the 68.50 level. So our expectation was that price was going to consolidate in this range over the next couple of hours, and we could collect some substantial premium by selling those iron condors. So we've got our time machine featured pulled up here on our gamma exposure dashboard. And as a reminder, we sold the 6880, 6885, and the 6825, 6820 iron condors. And so let's fast forward throughout the day and let's see how price and gamma exposure change as we oscillate around this level. And you can see there's a big shift as the market does attempt to sell off all the way down to that 6820 level. And let's just freeze the frame right there you can see gamma exposure begins growing at the 6800 strike but that 6850 strike still has the majority of the concentration so even though the lower end of our wing was threatened we decided to hold and give it a little bit more time we had also seen this level hold as support on the previous trading session and so we were wanting to give this a little bit more time to see if we could bounce back up to that large gamma exposure concentration. Ultimately, we did get a bounce at that 68.20 level back towards the large gamma exposure at the 68.50 strike. So even though we had traded down to 68.20, we had the confidence to hold for a potential bounce back up to that 6850 level. Jumping back here to our Discord, you know, we ended up exiting this position just a few hours later at 2.30 p.m. As I was showing, the game exposure was still concentrated at that 6850 level. We had just bounced off of the 6820 range. We were able to lock in $1,250 profit. Even though there was still an hour and a half left in the trading session, we were able to close out over 50% of the premium available. Remember, we sold these iron condors for $2.10. And so as they were trading down below $1, we had already collected over 50% of the available premium, ultimately collecting $1,250 profit. And this is a great example of how you can come in with a really wide iron condor spread. You know, our iron condor in this instance was 55 points wide. So 55 points is an excellent spread between those wings, especially when you have the added benefit of gamma exposure telling you where most of the market participants are focusing for that particular trading session. Now let's look at another example back from October 21st. In this example, we sold an iron condor with a much more narrow spread, only 20 points wide. So the 6740 to 6760 spread on these iron condors in particular. This was around noon on the 21st and look at the gamma exposure data. So we had gapped up in the morning at 6700 and very quickly traded into this 6750 range. Gamma exposure was all concentrated right around that 6750 strike. Most of the volume was also situated right around that 6750 strike as well. Price at the time was trading at 6747 and we entered that iron condor basically collecting $2.15. Again, our goal was to collect approximately 50% of this iron condor value before the close of the market. So we're not looking to pin this 
at the close or anything like that, we're looking to lock in approximately 50% and get out as early as we can before the last hour of trading. This particular approach helps reduce our risk in the final hour where volatility typically increases and gamma exposure is much more sensitive to small movements in the underlying price. So if we fast forward two and a half hours later, we can see at 2.27 p.m. on the 21st, we actually were able to lock in $1,050 profit on those iron condors, closing those out at $1.10, just around that 50% mark in premium collection. And I want you to take a look at how narrow of a range this trading session was, all foretold by gamma exposure positioning on a zero DTE basis. The price two and a half hours later was only two points lower than where we had entered. Gamma exposure was narrowing even further around that 6750 level. So we were able to exit with a nice profit, basically just letting those uh, option contracts decay in our iron condor and able to lock in that gain for a really nice profit on the day. And you can just see this little note here. I was thinking of holding into that last hour, but you know, 50% premium collected. We're going to lock that in every chance chance we get. Again, this strategy is about collecting the meat of the theta decay, especially in a low volatility market. And so we're able to do this uh, very nicely here on the 21st. All right, so now let's look at a more difficult situation. Back on October 16th, I would categorize this in our iron condor strategy. We actually used iron butterflies in this scenario, which is essentially an iron condor where your short strikes the short calls and short puts are both at the same expiration. But this is also considered an iron condor play. So we sold four SPX 6690, 6715, 6740 iron butterflies for $18.70. Basically, this is a 25 wide spread. You can see 25 points on both sides of that middle strike. 25 point wide spread, $18.70 potential credit, $6.30 potential risk. And here the setup was a positively skewed setup. You know, at the open, we had a slight gap up, a retracement down to the zero gamma exposure level. We drew this uh, yellow line as our potential support zone with gamma exposure all concentrated at higher strikes. Now, oftentimes when we see this setup in a quiet market, we will eventually see price trade up towards towards those larger positive gamma exposure levels. You can also see volume was all skewed to the upside as well. Unfortunately, on this particular day, there was a tweet by President Trump that the market took negatively and we ultimately saw price start selling off. So when we entered the position, Price was trading at 66.93 on SPX. Fast forward a couple of hours later and we can see price had dropped pretty precipitously down to the 66.71 level. So price had rejected off of the highs at 6700 back down into the moving average on the 15 minute chart. And we were starting to see some gamma exposure growing at lower strikes. And so this was our first red flag here. Uh, we decided to roll the position. As you can see here, we rolled our position basically down by 25 points. So where our short strikes were at the 66.90 strike, previously being at the 67.15 strike. So we uh, took a hit on that first roll, $920 loss. We were able to sell this next iron butterfly at $19.30. And to be honest, we waited way too long to roll this iron butterfly. We really should have been rolling it as price breached the 6690 level rather than waiting 20 points to roll the position. So there's a little bit of an execution error on our part. Uh, ultimately taking a larger hit than we would have originally liked to take $920. Price continued trading lower throughout the session, and you can just see this uh, a couple of hours later at 2.07 p.m. Price is now trading at 66.18, so a big drop. We rolled that iron butterfly one more time. We lost $1,000 on that second roll. We rolled down to the 66.25 strike, uh, with the 6600 and 6650 levels as our wings. And you can see how drastically the gamma exposure picture had shifted, whereas earlier in the morning we were seeing positive gamma exposure. After the tweet and after market participants began rapidly adjusting their positions, we saw gamma exposure took on a negative bias concentrated around that 6725 strike. So this was about two hours to go before market close, and uh, we had a pretty good indication that the market 
market was going to close somewhere around the 6700 to 6725 strike. Ultimately, we were able to get out of this trade about 20 minutes before the market closed plus $1,640. So overall, we were down around $300 plus on the day. Not a bad comeback though, after originally being down approximately $2,000. And this is on top of our bad execution. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it's better to roll your position as the wings of your iron condor are being threatened or are breaching, and then you can roll that position for either a flat trade or a small loss. So I'm showing you this example because this was a news-driven event where price rapidly sold off. Add on top of that our poor execution, and we were still able to come out with a very small loss down $300 on an intraday basis recovering on this last trade. So I don't want to sugarcoat this and make it seem like this is a super easy strategy. You still have to execute. You still have to read the data correctly. But gamma exposure can keep you focused on the right strikes. Even in a news driven event, you can see where market participants are focusing. They're trading on a zero DTE basis. And this is a really great example of that in kind of our worst case scenario. The next zero DT strategy I want to focus on is trending and directional strategies. So let's start off with a trending example back from August 7th at 1146 AM. Taking a look at the zero DT picture at the time, this was at 1146 AM, as you can see. Price had originally gapped up early in the morning on SPX, and after about a half hour of trading, began selling off and was starting to break several important intraday indicators. Uh, as you can see here, we have the 50 EMA on our five minute chart, which had broken. Price had continued selling off, and we were starting to see gamma exposure growing at much lower strikes. This was also our upper dealer cluster zone highlighted in red and our lower dealer cluster zone highlighted in the green shaded area. So dealers were clearly selling here as price traded above the 6380 strike. And so our bet was that this intraday trend was going to continue down into the lower 6300s. The gamma exposure had been shrinking at these higher strikes. On top of that, the zero gamma exposure level had broken, which was at 6340. So you can see this very important 6340 level had just broken, and this was an excellent risk reward setup. We could place our stops at the previous high, which was sitting around 6350, and target for further downside trend continuation. And so we were able to take advantage of this by putting on a put debit spread, an out of the money put debit spread to be precise, the 6325-6310 SPX put debit spreads, we bought those for $3.30. So $3.30 of risk on a 15 wide spread, that's $11.70 potential profit. And if we just fast forward down to later in the trading session, this was about two and a half, three hours later, uh, we were able to lock in those put debit spreads at $9.20. That was nearly a triple plus $1,180 profit as price continued trading lower throughout that trading session. So this is a great example of a little bit more of a speculative trade. You know, we weren't getting the complete picture from gamma exposure data, although the GEX at higher strikes was shrinking and the GEX at lower strikes was growing. If you just took a look with nothing else at this game exposure picture, you would think that price was going to go back to these large GEX concentrations. And this is a case where using multiple data points increases your probabilities. So we knew that the GEX at lower strikes was increasing. We also knew that price was breaking down below a very important support zone and that dealer selling pressure had really kicked off early in the morning. And so the likelihood for a continuation lower rather than a bounce higher was where the probabilities were shifting at that point in time. And so watching the gamma exposure data in real time and knowing that the gamma exposure was growing at lower strikes directed us to put on that put debit spread speculative trade. Let's take a look at another directional strategy, this time by looking at a counter trend play on the Russell 2000 futures. And for this trade, we actually used futures contracts to take our directional bet. 
You can see the Russell E-mini futures were trading just above the 2225 level. And if we just take a look at the zero DTE setup on IWM, this is the Russell 2000 ETF, and it's got a very deep liquid options market. Take a look at the zero DTE picture here. All the GEX is concentrated on the 222 strike while price is trading just above 220. So price had been selling off since the open in the morning, and we were looking at a potential counter trend play up into that 222 strike ultimately this was a very quick scalp exiting for $620 profits you can see our entry was at 2225 exiting at 2227 on those Russell e-mini contracts and so this is just another great example of how using zero DTE even on index ETFs can allow you to take directional bets both in the options market as well as using futures contracts. So there's a number of different creative ways you can get using gamma exposure on a zero DTE basis. Let's take a look at one more directional play. This one from back on August 5th at 1022 AM, we bought two of the 6310, 6290 SPX put debit spreads for $4.25. So it's $4.25 risk on a potential $15.75 max profit. Looking at the GAM exposure setup at the time, we can see SPX was trading at 6316. So we saw several important price support breaking at that time we had flipped into negative gamma exposure on a zero dte basis and large net negative gamma exposure below the 6300 strike so quite a ways below where we were trading as we were breaking important technical levels the gamma exposure data was all concentrated at lower strikes so this was a great opportunity to take a short biased play trending lower throughout the rest of the trading session. So we entered those 6310, 6290 SPX put debit spreads, as I mentioned, for $4.25. And you can see just a short 45 minutes later, price had sold off over 12 points on SPX down to the 6300 level. So we weren't waiting for price to get all the way down to 6290, which was the short leg of our strategy. We took more than a 200% profit closing those out at $10.25, so a total of $1,200 in profits uh, on that play. For 45 minutes, that's pretty good, and this is exactly what we were looking for, a further trend breakdown and touching those lower GAM exposure concentrations. Uh, at that point, it made sense to take the position off because a potential bounce could be coming later in the day, so we're starting to lose a little bit of our advantage once those price levels get hit. Just as a side note, you know, at this point in time, you can also see the volume coming in here at higher strikes. So as price was trading lower, market participants were actually coming in at higher strikes. Now, of course, some of that is call selling, but a lot of that, what we were seeing was call buying uh, during the day, taking advantage of the pullback in the market. So again, another reason why we wanted to exit you know, lock in that gain after only holding the position for 45 minutes. So this is another great example of a trend play using zero DTE GEX. And here you can actually see our actual entry and exits as we posted there in Discord. So we've gone through a number of examples in this video showing how you can get creative with your trading strategies using gamma exposure on a zero DTE basis and combining that with other data points. And if you guys are interested in learning more about our zero DTE strategy, as well as how we trade and manage our options portfolio, head on over to geeksoffinance.com. You can sign up and become a member. You'll get full access to our Gamma Exposure Dashboard, our option flow analytics tools, as well as our algorithmic trading strategies. Members also get full access to the premium channels in our community Discord. We've got a ton of great traders in there sharing their own trade setups and strategies. It's a great resource, and you can track our trades in real time as we go throughout the trading session. I'll put links in the description below to all of that so you guys can check it out. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.